Hello, this is at Wild and Juicy. I was inspired to do a different hairstyle. I mean, it's the same layout, but this time, instead of single two strand twist, I did finger coils. See that? So I prefer the really small, tight, defined curls. So that's why I did really small, tight finger curls. In case you're curious, because I do see some girls they do like looser finger coils, but I like them tight. I like them tight. That's why I felt like doing another video. Usually I wait till my Fro Friday reveals, but because I did the layout a little different, I decided to show ya. Team Natural, follow me on Twitter at Wild and Juicy. Snapchat me, Wild and Juicy3. So, it took me so long to do these small sections of finger coils that I will probably not try this hairstyle for a while. But it's all good though. I like I like how it came out. Me like it. It just takes so long to do it that I will be right back to my single two strand twist. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, let me know what you think. Do you like it this way with the finger coils? Or do you prefer it with the two strand twists that I've... I might not even have showed you. Oh, you know what? A really, really old video should have it. So, you have to scroll through my older videos to see what my hair looked like before the Fur Friday reveal. Which would be the two, single two strand twist. But that's alright, though. So you can judge the whole, um, not judge, you can let me know whether or not you like the Fro Friday results then, when Fro Friday comes, because I am going to do a coil out, since I finger coils, see how that goes. I've seen like, um, the short taper hair girls do their little finger coil out, and it looks fabulous on them, so... I am hoping to get great results as well. We shall see you on Friday. For Friday. That's all good though. I'm excited to see what it's going to look like. But for now, this is what I'm working with. Finger coils. My harder. See natural. And with my nails, these are mine. These are mine. And I've been trying a new um, nail strengthener, protector repair. It's um, the Pink Armor Gel from Wolverines. It's like $19.99. I'm hoping it works because I haven't started biting my nails again. I ain't going to show you my left hand. My right hand is still here. <laughs> I left it and it's pitiful right now, but it's all good. It's gonna look back, it's gonna look like this again. It's gonna grow back, so it's all good. It'll grow back and it'll look like this again. Sorry right, though. Focus, focused on the good. Focused on the good. I'm liking it though. Oh, I'm gonna do it from the side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just felt like showing you. 
It's my oily for my oil mix. Oh, I have to tell you what I used. I used um to scalp my hair. I use um. Do I have this? I put um a whole bunch of stuff in this. Hold on, let me think. Oh, coconut oil, grapeseed oil, avocado oil, vitamin E oil. Tea tree oil, pretty much like I said, grapeseed oil already. But video, pretty much every oil that I could get my hands on at the time, and I put it in there. So that's what I use for my scalp, and then to actually do my coils and my flat twist up, I used aloe vera gel, and that is because I am more focused on growth right now versus uh, styling product hair products. So. Since aloe vera is supposed to be, you know, good for healing and stuff, I figured why not just use that for my styling products until my hair reaches the length of my hair goal. And then I'll go back to like the other hair products. But for now, I'm just aloe vera gel in it. And my oils. So we shall see. Results on Friday. If the coil out looks good or not. If not, I'll probably just throw it. Throw it. I don't know. Just for like sure. Might be if this is longer than usual. Thanks for watching though. Follow me on Twitter at Wealth and Juicer.